Hello, hello, Spear here again, everyone. Uh, we're going to Anaxinwink. I should probably just not pronounce any more planets. This is an abandoned planet, which means, well, life support will be a little wonky. So I'll have to think about that. And I'll need to get some launch thruster power going on. There we go. So, ooh. Boy, we are pretty full here, aren't we? But before we left this system, I wanted to uh, check out the final planet, just so we got them all. Gold, copper, heridium. Don't really need to get any of that. We've only got three spots anyway. We got too much copper the last time. Not going to be able to store all of it at the base. We'll have to sell some of it. But hey, what are you going to do? Land on the night side. I don't know what those blue things are, you know, the sentinel blue circle, but I've had it for... You've been turning off and on the, the program and re it doesn't go away, so... I guess it'll be there forever and not tell me what it is. It's cool. Not really. Okay, this is quite abandoned. There is nothing. A lump of feridium over there. Gold is, it's probably doesn't even light. Um, there's nothing here. Let's set down and claim it. Whoa. Okay. I was like, is it gonna straighten out? Balmy limited deficient. Look at this. There is nothing. Very little plutonium. suspicious about that. It can't be Chrysonite, could it? Oh, and the plutonium is much further away than I thought. So, let's just call it a day. <sighs> this is a heck of a planet. Not exactly what you'd call a fun place. No plants, no flora. Almost no sentinels. The weather's alright. What? It's probably scanning me because I'm the only thing on the planet worth scanning. There's nothing else on this planet, dude. I mean, what are you even doing here? There is nothing. Wow. Okay, so that was... Uh, that was a side trip to NXC1. Are they saying something's out there? There is something out there. I see a tiny black spot. Oh, it's the Atlas interface. The blue circle points to the Atlas interface for some reason because it's a red circle. But hey. All right, so that was exciting. That was certainly worth the trip, wasn't it? Wow. All right, we're gonna go back to the moon base, and then we're going to warp to another system. Let's charge up the hyperdrive. What, what was that? Hostile subspace span. Um, I can ask for help. Oh. Well, I tried to ask for help, but I wasn't fast enough. Not at the blue. There they are. Oh, 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 oh. What? No. Alright, so it'll take me too long to get to the space station. Let's land on this freighter and see what happens. Where can I land in the freighter? It seems to be pointing me somewhere. Whoa! Oh no, it's red. Okay, so they won't let me land while it's being attacked. Uh. 
They're gonna hide behind the other ships. I can't shoot it. But don't they know my shields get stronger and stronger the longer they wait? I think I hit the freighter a couple times and I didn't get attacked by sentinels, so have they finally fixed that? Where if you accidentally hit something, you're not immediately killed. That always was a pet peeve of mine. So definitely, I want to use the phase beam, um, most of all. The phase beam is what really killed these guys. All right, so send some iron over there. To the ship. Whew. Okay, so that was that was something. I tell you what, that was. Hello, Mr. Viking. I don't think I've been up here to see you guys. Came into the system from the uh, on the warp. Went straight to the Atlas. Uh, thing. I doubt I want anything here. The ricochet. I do want the ricochet actually. Huh. Rapid fire. That's also an interesting idea. This other stuff. Yeah. So let's ricochet it then. And I don't have enough for the rapid fire tile. 16 short. When did you know it? Alright, let's go sell some stuff. Selling some nickel. moves everything when you sell something. Alright, we're gonna... Uh, the only thing they're selling are dynamic... R Wait a second, that couldn't be right. Oh, it was on that... probably on the last screen. Yeah, look at that. That. So the game still has the things to work out. See, look, I'm on the third page of the buy screen. So if I toggle the cell, it doesn't go back to the... it goes to the third page of the cell. Which doesn't make sense, but... All right, so it should be pinned in there. My new tech. Let's see if it's pinned in there. Yes, build ricochet theta. Gather gold. I have gold at the base. The warrior grunts and ignores me. Leave them be. Okay. 
I guess I was supposed to poke the device. My keen are a little strange little... Well, I guess not. That little, they're a strange thing. You, you actually want to be rude to them. So to speak. Wow, Class C. Come on. Alright, let's save here and go back to the moon. The Atlas Path. Your destiny lies in the beyond. Do, do, do. Actually, you know what I could have done? Gone back to that, uh... Apparently that abandoned planet had some gold somewhere on it. Not exactly sure where, but it said it did. Ah, this is faster, safer. All right, so what we got to do is remember is we got to continue the Atlas path. Apparently, if we go to 16 of them, we might reset the whole shebang. Bang is the right word, but you know what I mean. If we go to 16 of the Atlas stations, actually, I think reset is the right word. Now that I think about it, where's our copper stored at? Number seven? Ta da! Oh, I already had 500. I didn't know I had so much. So we're going to have to sell the rest of that copper. Make sure we don't have anything in cargo. Nope, just a whole bunch of stuff we I don't know what we're gonna do with. So sell the rest of the copper. That's our plan. Wait a second. Yeah, it's like wait, what? Eight turned into the same as seven. Where's the gold? Uh that would be in six, I guess. Ricochet, I guess, probably goes here. So, hopefully, that'll bounce things around a bit. I guess. Is that what I'm supposed to know? That is the point of the ricochet. Then it would bounce things around, like I'll hit one thing, or if I miss, maybe it'll bounce off a wall and hit another guy or something. It's Theta, so maybe it'll be like shooting fish in a barrel. So, hey! Everything else grew except the, uh, whatever this is. I want to call it Fervidium. So some stuff grows quickly. Some stuff does not. Star bulbs are what I'm putting in the storage. And frost crystal. Still need another vortex cube. So as soon as I can get another vortex cube. Thank you. We can finally build that tech we've been waiting on. I don't even know the... Uh, Solanium. There you go. Wait a second. Did I use the Amagon? Uh-oh. Now it's looking like I've used the Amagon on something else. I know these are full. That's plutonium. So it looks like I'd have to buy the Amagon again. Oh. What are you going to do? Alright. Let's get moving. We've got worlds to explore. Places to be. The next Atlas station awaits. Although I don't know if it'll be on the map. Will it be on the map? Because 
Do I need to go talk to Polo and, uh... Nada. I think Nada says she'll tell me where the next location is. So, I think I might have to do that. Mold. Sack Venom. Copyright. Sack Venom. What was that? Uh, nah, I've forgotten the name of all the ones now. 27 million units. Can't complain about that. Unless you're complaining it should have been more. Alright, so we will check out the... I'll go to the galactic map. If there's another Atlas station, we'll just go to it. If not, we'll come back and... Talk to Nana and pull up. Good. There we go. Perfect. Sort of perfect. It keeps moving around a lot. Perfect. I can warp right to it. Atlas station to Atlas station. Corvax system. Conflict level gentle. Ah. I'm not a big fan of the green. One planet. It's just a developing system. Not a fan of the green space. Really? I think I blasted right through the door. Sides look green. Where's the glass floor? Oh. Right here. I still don't understand these lights. Presuming I will never understand the whole lighting system. Why, when you walk over some lights, you get words? Why they go out? I don't... I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me. They don't... It doesn't seem to make any sense at all. I just, I don't know why. Walking over lights would teach you words. Or why they go out. See, why did I learn pain there? I did. No. But oh well. See, now this looks different. This one with the black, it looks more, um, normal. Do I want to call it normal? I guess it looks more normal. I think I, yeah, I get the feeling I've seen this before. I still don't know any of the Atlas words. Now that I'm really gonna be able to. I was born with my exosuit. Alright. I don't know what these milestones mean, but I always I'll choose them.
Now I can make a new spheric orb. If I have an englobe shade, which I learned last time. Okay, so I get the idea that I'm going to get a whole bunch of recipes and then I'm going to just build something at the end that's the final thing to build. That's the idea I'm getting. I don't know. Quite possibly. Quite possibly. Alright, where's this planet? Where is the planet? Huh. Star bulbs. Don't need them anymore, but thanks for that. I'm gonna run into the space station because it wouldn't let me fly it away from the space station. Thanks for that. There seems to be an awful lot of water on this planet. Let's hope it's a friendly place. Because what would be nice is a nice, green, watery, friendly place. This is the kind of place you'd want to set down roots. Damp, oh. Except for the frenzied sentinels, this is the kind of place you'd want to set down roots. That guy's supposed to be frenzied, but apparently he didn't even see me. Hello? I hear somebody. There you go. One out of ten. Yeah, not gonna get all ten on a frenzied planet. Hey, fishy. I haven't seen fish in forever, have I? They are not, uh... Well, I guess I don't get into water that often. But, I have not... Ooh, I don't often see fish. I must admit. Underwater's pretty cool. You can use your exocraft to drive underwater. But that kind of seems to defeat the purpose of being underwater. Being underwater is being cool. And... Let's not go in that cave. You might not want to go into a cave because... Well, how do you get out of the cave? What is that? Some kind of kelp? Uh-oh. I got a sentinel. Yeah, see, I wouldn't want to be in the cave full of water and then lose my oxygen protection. I got shields, but still. Alright, well. This place would have been fun to explore. Which is perhaps why they put on Frenzied Sentinels. The nice worlds where you want to hang out and explore? Uh, let's make sure nobody comes here. Sentinel doesn't sound happy. Not much around either. Yeah, the, the more hostile the planet is, the more goodies it has, so to speak. Sorry, Mr. Sentinel, but you are bothering me.
What, there's another sentinel already? Come on. I was hoping to buy a couple minutes of peace. But I guess not. Yeah, see, this is a nice looking place, but there's there's nothing really to do. There was that one animal. And my ever-present friends, the frenzied sentinels. I like the fish. I'd like to explore more of the fish ID IDs, but uh, that's not going to happen, is it? Alright, I got those guys. I'm going to have to kill the sentinel, otherwise they will uh, hunt you into space. They don't like it when you look at them. They seem to instantly go hostile. They're good at shots, dude. I thought this would be a nicer place to visit. Boy, was I wrong. I probably shouldn't just sit here and charge up stuff. Dang it! They weren't frenzied! Ah, oh, it'd be perfect. Alright, are we in space? I hate it when the two things are together because you can't tell. But all right, not too bad. We're on Atlas sequence two out of sixteen. We're gonna hit all sixteen Atlas stations and then see what we're supposed to build. I should probably build these things as we go along. Take up one slot, but I think it's worth it. Not this thing. Uh, let's see. We got two uh, ten craft. This is the second one we got. Okay, so I make an englobe shit. I need a captured nanode and two hundred copper. Captured nanode. Is that an atlas sphere? Is that what they're telling me? It sounds like that's what they're telling me, but I'm not sure. And of course I just sold my excess copper. But if I build whatever they're going to give me 16 recipes for... Hello, Corvax! And is there others? Boy, that's good. Got some lettuce here. Make a nice salad. Check out the technology furniture before we go. <laughs> Fauna Tau. Oh, don't have enough of that. Don't know, I don't need all this Tau stuff because I got Theta stuff. So, sorry about that. Already known. Maybe some other time I can get the rest of the towel, but I don't know why. Why would I want to? Sell some goodies? Dirty bronze. Pugnium. Rusted metal. Gex charm. Save those. Hello. 
All right, so that's where we're at. But that's what I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do. I think I'm going to uh, create what they want me to create. Well, create the things that they're giving me recipes to create. I don't know if they want me to create it, but they're giving me a recipe to craft. Uh, if I start with captured nanode and copper, I can build an englobed shade. Then with the englobed shade and nickel, I can build a new spheric orb. Although, wait a second. What does this do? Uh, it doesn't seem to really do anything. But this one says, it may attempt to subsume any subordinate intellect in close proximity. Humanoid telepathic frequency. So I don't know if that means I'll be able to manipulate these guys into doing something. That would be weird. Very possibly. I keep leaving these guys alone and not getting anything out of it. Alright, but I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start building these things. And we will see next time what's going to happen. So join me then. This is The Spear with No Man's Sky. Thanks for watching. Let's get started on building. First up, in Globe Shade.